Here we go. And everything is closed. So. We have just passed the 26th parallel. So today we are in Carnarvon, well for the last week we've been in Carnarvon, just doing maintenance on the vans, the cars, cleaning, we spent a month on the beach. And now, after what, four days of being here, we finally decided we're going to go and see what Carnarvon has to offer in the way of interesting things to see. Touristy stuff, that stuff. So today we are at the... Babbage Island looking at the One Mile Jetty and the Train Museum and everything is closed so we're just walking around the outside and looking at everything that we can see for free and after this we're going to go have a look at the Fruit Loop which is just a whole heap of fruit stalls that pretty much go in a loop and yeah, maybe stock up on some of the fruit that we've eaten over the last month. Hudson really does like his fruit. Anyway, that is this new episode that we're doing. Dion. Just looking at all the things that are closed because we're here in off season. Yeah, kind of a problem. Yeah. So we wanted to do the lighthouse keeper's cottage and that's closed. We can still do one mile jetty. fruit loop trail after this and half of that's shot but we had to get a little bit of fresh fruit that's the main thing we want is the fruit because yeah. i have to come back here next year when it's when it's not closed all right so we are staying in carnarvon and we have just done a day trip out to the koala blowholes because yeah. To be honest, that was like two dollars difference in price, and we get power and water in town, and we have not had power and water for so long that we decided we wanted power and water. And Jess hasn't turned the aircon off since. I have. It wasn't on last night. No. Yeah. See, he lies. Anyway, Four also, straight, then. also happy birthday to Dion. It's his birthday today, and he got the joy of driving us out to the blowholes. So. Yeah. I'll cook him a cake later. We'll make it up to him, hey. And scones. And scones. He's a bit demanding. Anyway, we're at the blowholes. Yeah, oh we Hello. can. All right, so there's about 30 blowholes and the jets can go up to 30 metres high. Now, how big's the tide today, Dion? Uh, the waves are only eight of a metre? Yeah, so we're not going to get 30 metre high blowholes today. No, so like tide wise it doesn't really matter. It's more so how big your waves are as to how much water it pushes through and would have been good here last week when we were getting like 1.5 metre tide uh, waves. Yeah, but mum was sick to, yeah. so we didn't come out. So that's anyway, it. that's all right. We will check it out today, see what we can see. So you can walk down but it's a bit uneven. Alright, this is all salt. So I guess when the spray is really high. It gets up here under the flat and dries out and just leaves salt deposits. Oh look over here. So much salt. Let's go find some blowholes. Whoa, that was a good one. Hudson, over here. See the hole? You wait and see all the water coming out of it. Is that hole connected to the salt water? Yeah, there's a big hole under the rocks. And the waves keep pushing all the water out. Whoa, there we go. See? Holy. 
Definitely would have been good with some bigger waves. It'd really push them up. It was. I hope not on a low summer. Yeah, well, we just need some bigger waves. Oh, there we go. It's a good one. Hey Hudson, was that good? Yeah. Yeah? You liked it? Hi Jess. Hello. What are we doing? We're at the Carnarvon Space and Technology Museum today. Yeah, I'll get you. There's one of the oh, yeah. space arrays there. So apparently this is really good for kids. So we're checking it out. We're on the way to Monkey Mire. So we've just parked up in the Long Bay parking. It's a bit, it's a bit scary when you get here because it looks like there is no Long Bay parking and you're going to be stuck. But it's actually just around the back. So. Yeah, so there's heaps of room. Heaps of room. So let's go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty big. Especially compared to the height of our van at three meters. <laughs> so the TV's gonna be on. Where are we going? To the moon. Let's go to the moon. <laughs> We're in a space shuttle capsule thing. Hudson's just done this with mom and dad and said it was amazing. So now you've got us in here to have a look at it too. Let's go to the moon. Alright. You can go to the moon when you're older. Do you know that's called an astronaut and their job is to go to the moon in real life? Huh? We're going to the moon! July 5th, the propellant tanks were consumed and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, ten seconds and coming. So today we're up super early. It's only about quarter past seven. Gotta go. Um, we're heading down to see the dolphin experience at Monkey Mire. 
So we had to pay the conservation fee $25 each for entry to this area in general and it includes your dolphin experience. So we get to go down, watch the dolphins come in and the rangers will feed them. So hopefully they come in today, we'll see soon. Here they are then. Morning everyone. So we're now seeing some dolphins in the experience area. So thank you for remaining our And here's just a little clip. We were down at the beach and Hudson befriended this lovely lady who's actually a teacher. And uh, he was very intrigued about the paddle board and she kindly allowed him to have a little go. So he was having a bit of a, a paddle around and it was a bit of a laugh for us to watch him give it a try. Once again guys, thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. If you could hit that subscribe button, that would make our day, it's actually free. And we will see you next week, bye.